Hi there, it's an exciting time of year really, uh, apart from the fact that it's freezing outside, it's the time when we get lots of new products to try out and uh, use on the golf course. So today I'm going to show you the Bushnell V4 rangefinder. <laughs> These are obviously pretty accurate, I'm just going to do a little experiment here. So if you look here, this white target is 200 yards. It's actually 200 yards from the middle of the range and we're just a little bit of an angle here, so it's probably slide the left. But if we measure it out, 198. Which is obviously pretty good, I know these are accurate because we've paced them out and we've done them with all sorts of things to make sure that they're accurate from the middle of the range. But this little baby's got something extra, if you see here this is the slope addition which means we can factor in gradient so we're going to show you a little experiment now so the back fence is 218 yards away and I know that because I've just lasered it but if I laser the top of the back fence 218 yards to the top of the back fence but with the 3% gradient that it's telling me it's actually 229 now that's quite interesting because obviously that would be probably for me a good club maybe even two clubs difference uh, in the summer to find a target that's the same distance away. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this out onto the golf course, I'm going to change my shoes and I'm going to see what the readings are like on here compared to what they're like on my Garmin device. So as if by magic the sun's come out and I've come out, we're on the 11th here at Sand Hill just next door to the driving range uh, and we've got an approach shot here. I'm going to measure it with the bush and see how far it is from the flag. 71 yards downhill of 1% so it's 70 yards, plain 70 yards. Let's see how that compares to, compares to my Garmin. Okay so my Garmin device says I've got 76 uh, yards to the back of the green but on my way up I paced it out and the flag is 4 yards from the back of the green so in terms of accuracy my Garmin is saying 72 yards to the flag. Now I wouldn't normally know that uh, information in play because I'm not going to walk all the way down there back I'm not Kevin now so in terms of playability the Bushnell is obviously better it's going to be more accurate and faster having said that there are advantages to the Garmin over the Bushnell so one of the yardages I might want to know that my Garmin will give me is how far is it to the front of the green that way let's say the flag's at the front I've got a minimum yardage that I know I've got to cover to get onto the green the opposite would be true if the flag was at the back as well I could get a yardage to the back to know that I can't hit the ball possibly further than that distance so I know that I'm always going to be at least on the back of the green or short of it and therefore put it. So there's always going to be a decision to be made. Do you want 100% accurate yardages to a flag or any other target, a bunker or a tree or whatever? Or do you want to be able to have a plan of the course like this where you're going to get reasonably accurate data but you can get that data from anywhere. So for example, even if you can't see where the flag is, this will still give you a yardage, whereas the Bushnell can only give you a yardage if it can see what you're aiming at. I do know, for example, that a lot of tour players are using the Bushnells in practice rounds because then they can figure out the gradients and make some notes on the yardage books and take those notes onto the course during the competition and get better, uh, better yardages to play with. That's possibly one of the reasons why we get a lot of slow play, and I do wonder why the RNA and the USGA won't allow these kind of things to be used during competition. If it's going to speed things up, surely that's good. And if you're playing a course regularly, or if you're only playing with your mates and people don't mind, what's to stop you using this anyway? And I do like this device. I think it's a really good piece of gear for us. The ideal scenario for me is, I've got one of these, but maybe one of my play partners got one of these. And so then no matter where you are on the golf course, you can always get all the information you want. So the Bushnell V4 Slope Edition uh, retails at 299 We can supply them down here, obviously, at Sand Hill. Uh, also, we can get any other measuring device as well. So the Garmin uh, GPS devices is another one that we can do. Uh, obviously, you can get the watch devices or the, or the handheld ones like this. So that's the first equipment review of uh, 2018 season. I think if we all blow hard, we could probably get rid of winter and bring spring on, which sounds like a great idea. Some more equipment reviews coming up in the next few weeks because we've got a lot of stuff coming down into the shop. Hope you're going to have fun this weekend playing golf and hope the weather stays fine and we'll see you down here at the range in the meantime.